My custom built CRMs have generated hundreds of millions of dollars for my businesses and the clients that I've worked with. And while I wouldn't consider myself to be a Google Sheets expert, I would consider myself to be a CRM expert. And outside of a stack of index cards, my very first CRM was actually a Google Sheet CRM. They're super easy to build, they're super easy to use, and they're super free forever. So if I had to start over with no budget and take everything that I've learned over the last six years and the over 100 custom built CRMs that I have made, this tutorial is going to be the exact setup for a Google Sheet CRM that I would use. But first, my name is Sam Queen. Some people like to call me the clothes doctor and I help online service-based businesses with high ticket offers scale to seven and eight figures using what I call systems-based selling strategy. Systems like building a very simple Google Sheet to start tracking your leads through the sales process. Now, if you're looking for something more advanced, you're looking for a sales operator like myself to sit inside of your business to solve problems like how do I decrease my no-show rates? How do I increase my close rates? How do I put more touch points on my leads? faster, then I'll leave a link down in the description below. Another link that you're going to find down in the description below is going to be a link to access the very template that we're going to build here together today. That way, at the end of this video, you're learning a lot of the principles on how Google Sheets operate and why a CRM should be set up this way. But I'm going to give it to you for free, save you all the time and all the headache that I went through to build it. All you're going to have to do is give me your name, email, your phone number, so your information can end up inside of my CRM. And I'll make sure this exact template hits your inbox. Now let's get into it. Boom, a blank canvas. Got it opened up, got it named Google Sheets CRM. Name it whatever you want, that's up to you. Let's add some columns right at the top. I recommend if you use like a website intake form or maybe you have a Google form or a type form or a jot form or so many of these other form builders that exist, I recommend using Zapier to just bring all of your leads inside of your Google Sheets, automate that process and then have all your other columns be kind of like these these touch point columns and status columns that we're going to go over but this is going to be a tutorial on you just manually and putting every single piece of information that you get because that's where you're starting out and that's how i started out obviously you can adapt this however you want for your business so i'm going to go date name i'm going to go email i'm going to go phone i'm going to go website i'm going to go touch one touch two and then let's see how good my google sheet skills are will this go all the way to t6 boom see that save myself a little time i literally have no idea how to build some of the stuff that we're going to talk about here and i'm going to show you how easy it is to figure out google sheets and actually become a google sheets master because all the information is on the internet how cool is that so we got touch point one through touch point six we've got last touch we've got next touch We've got a status drop down, and I think we're going to leave it there. So this is going to be the date of a lead getting entered inside of here, which could be May 7th. So 5, 7, 24. And then we'll always make sure that this is formatted as a date field. Now, someone's probably watching this right now like, wow, you idiot. How do you not know the keyboard shortcut for that? I don't know, because I'm not a Google Sheets expert, but I'll show you that this is easy to figure out. And this is gonna be our name, John Doe. And then we're gonna have john at gmail.com and his number, five, five, his website. I think John Doe works for Apple. How cool is that? Hyperlinks, which is great, right? Maybe you put in a LinkedIn profile URL, maybe you put in Facebook profile URL, touch one through touch two, touch three, touch four, touch five, touch six. This is how we're gonna make it really easy for us to know how many touch points have we put on each lead. And I know inside of Google Sheets, we can put in little check boxes. I don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna search how to insert a checkbox in Google Sheets. This is how easy all of this is. Everything for Google Sheets in Excel is on the internet, I promise. On your computer, open a spreadsheet, select the cells you want to have checkbox. In the menu at the top, click insert checkbox. Cool. So I want a checkbox to be in that cell. I want it to be in all of them. Let's see if it works like this. I'm gonna go insert checkbox. Boom, how about that? And then I can drag these down in the future when I want, let's go. Easy, check, uncheck. How cool is that? Last touch, this is gonna be a date. So maybe my um, last touch was today, May 7th, on the day that I got John Doe as a lead. So I'll just copy that date over. And then my next touch, I wanna follow up in a week with John Doe. So I'm gonna go five, what is that? Five, 14, 
2024. I'll make sure that these are always formatted as date fields, number, date, and then status. I want to be like one of those drop down single selects. I don't know how to build that either. How cool is that? How to insert a drop down single select in Google Sheets. Cool, there's my Google search. And then right in here, sometimes you can find a short little video, which is great, 27 second video play it up a little bit faster. Save yourself time, guys. This is a speed run. So we're going to go to what was that insert? Boom. Data validation list of items enter items separated by a comma. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to go was that insert? All right, so I'm back over here in the sheet. I'll go to my status column and it's not under insert. It's under data. We're going to go data validation. We're going to go add rule and then we can put our options in here and our options are going to be new for a new lead and then we'll go cold, hot, one, boss. And how about that? New, cold, hot, one loss. So now we can disposition our leads inside of here. How great is that? Maybe we'll even add a, a DNC in here as well. So we don't call people when they say to stop calling them. So now we can log how many times we're putting a touch point on someone. We can say when the last touch was and always remember what the last date was of a touch point. So now if we wanted to filter for these things like our status or our next touch points or our last touch points or the date elite was created, we can select our column headers here and then we can go to data and create filter. And now I in here can filter for a certain date. If I just always wanted to type in today's date, I can type in today's date and then I would be able to pull up all of the leads that I need to follow up with today. So let me put a little bit of data inside of here right now and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I got 10 rows of fake data inside of here now. I've dragged all of my touch point boxes down. I've dragged my statuses down. And I'll show you that now if I want to filter, it's May 7th as I'm recording this right now. And I want to see what leads I put a touch point on today. I could go to last touch, clear everything and put in today's date, or I could type in today's date and see that, oh, there's only one lead that I put a touch point on today, John Doe. I could do the same thing for this date created, right? And show that on the 7th, there's only one lead that I put a touch point on. So now I'll select all again, bring all the data back. If I want to see what leads all have a, a status of one. So let me change only a couple of these to a one status. And I'll make that, you know, a DNC. We'll make this a cold lead. We'll make this a new lead. Show me only the leads with a one status. Show me only my customers. I could come into here. Like I said, you can search for it. I could search one and boom, there are my two leads with a one status. I'll bring all my data back. So you start going through your leads and you want to know how many touch points have I put on them. You just start clicking the boxes and then it'll be really easy to see, you know, who have you only put one touch point on? Who have you put all six touch points on? What do you do when you reach six touch points? If that's your process of just getting in contact with someone, maybe you just keep updating your next touch point date. And then when you need to come in to your now Google Sheets CRM and understand who do I need to put a touch point on today, just come up here and filter. But you have to do the work. That's the important part, right? You have to manage the machine. The machine, the system is built. Now you actually have to be diligent about following a process around it. Maybe you want to visualize these leads a lot easier. We can come into column N here. We can go to format, add conditional formatting, format cell if text contains, and we'll go one and we'll make that green. And let's see if that made it green over here. Boom. So now our cells can be green. I and mean, then we can go in and we can do conditional formatting, add another rule, make this red and show that if the cell text contains lost, make it red and none of them contain lost. Boom. Now when you change it, it updates. So this is really how easy it is to build a Google Sheets CRM. Like I said, you can automate creation of the, the spreadsheet row inside of Zapier, or if you're using a Google Sheet, you can very easily link a Google form to a Google Sheet and bring your data in this way. Add whatever columns you want, add application questions, add maybe notes. Maybe you just want a column that's just called notes and we spoke on the phone. Whatever you gotta do to really just manage your leads in a better 
better way. This is better than doing nothing. Trust me. I used a setup exactly like this and then started building dashboards and reporting behind it. But yeah, it's this simple. You don't have to be a Google Sheets expert to be able to get to this point. Even if you don't know how to do something in Google Sheets, I recommend just Google it or use ChatGPT to have it feed you the information as well. I want to leave you guys with two more tips here on how to make the communication a lot easier. Obviously, we're not talking about built-in dialers or anything in this video. You're probably, if you're using a Google Sheets CRM, it's probably because you're using your personal cell phone as your dialer and that's okay. I recommend on your phone setting up keyboard shortcut. I'm going to go into settings and then I'm going to go into general and then I'm going to go into keyboard and I'm going to go into text replacement. So I'm going to go up here to add a text replacement. The phrase is going to be what you actually want to say. So, hey, it's Sam with Closed Doctor. And then we can add the shortcut of CDR1, Closed Doctor 1. And I'll hit save. So now when I go to send someone a text and I type in CDR1, my keyboard shortcut shows up right there and I don't actually have to text out the whole thing every single time. So you can set up CDR1, CDR2, CDR3, CDR4, CDR5. Save yourself some time on your text follow-up or your text introductions. And the last thing I want to leave you guys with is how to create templates, just like kind of we showed on our phone there, but templates inside of your Gmail. Or if you use Outlook or another email service provider, just Google how to set up templates in Outlook or how to set up templates in this tool. So I went into settings here, general, and then there is advanced. Under advanced, we can enable templates and save changes. So then go to compose an email and add your subject line. You, you just won a free Google Sheets CRM. How great is that? Congrats. You're a winner. Reply back to claim it. Remember, if you actually want yours, link down in the description so you can grab it. And then we click these three dots and we go to templates and then we can do save draft as template, save as a new template, give it a template name and boom. Now pretend we're going to compose a new email. We put in our recipient. We go to our three dots. We go to templates, insert new template, pulls right up. So that's how you can save time on your follow-up on your text, save time on your follow-up on your email and how you can actually track all of your leads inside of your business absolutely for free. All of this, the Google suite is completely free. I'm pretty sure that rings true unless you're using a business account, a business email under a business domain, then I think maybe you pay like 10 bucks a month, but you should be able to track your leads better now because you're tracking your leads. You're gonna close more deals. I promise if you take this one little step inside of your business, you're gonna close more deals. If you have any questions, comment them down below. If you wanna see anything else in another video, if you want me to build a better Google Sheets, I was thinking of maybe building like a free CRM like this I built here and then maybe paying some one on Upwork or Fiverr, a thousand dollars to build a Google Sheets CRM and then giving that to you guys away for free as well. So if you want to see that, comment down below. We want the thousand dollar CRM. I'll make sure you guys get that. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me those comments for that engagement. I need views on this channel for my right now 280 subscribers. I would love for this video to be the one that gets me to 300. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming and stay tuned for more. Bye.